back out here roadside cutting, cut back a lot. I'm out here in the Temple Hills area right now. And yeah, made some swipes, cut back a lot over here. I'm over here off uh, Kepler and Bentley. I'm over in Temple Hills on Old Branch. Parking plan, folks. Y'all know exactly where this little band at home is. That y'all, I cut a lot of this back for y'all, man. I already called in and told them it's some litter that need to be picked up on this side, you know, on the outside and uh, trash bags. I had to avoid, but yeah, I cut back pretty far. Y'all can see I cut back pretty far already. Right? Swipe, make it look like something. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoy your Monday. Y'all be safe, man. Your boy Swall out. One cut on it, it don't really look the best. But as you see when you look behind me, I got two cuts. It's a big difference. It's a way bigger difference, y'all. That's the bridge right here, right hand down neighborhood. Here at the house. Looks to be well within a full truck lane. Right here off of Greenfield Lane, that's Alama Street. Yeah. Just left a business card in the door hanging. All right, you guys. It's June 12th, 
It's currently 3.05 p.m. I left work a little bit early so I can go knock this new client out because I'm going out later uh, to go see the new Bad Boys movie in the theaters at 7 p.m. So I was like, let me go ahead. It's not much I got to do, but now um, she wants me to help get up a few leaves that's right in a little pile right there in her backyard. And I don't have to take them away, but originally quoted the job at 160, but I want to even 175 just to go ahead and put the pile of leaves in the bags for her and her little brown bags herself and she's gonna let the trash people or whatever company gonna come out and dispose of them the yard waste. The organics compost place down 301. We might have some people that come pick it up. But anyway, so this is a new client. She got a citation. Um, so she needs the items gone. I guess maybe if somebody called in on her, bought some items she had sent in her backyard. The family members left it over in the yard. So my coworker referred me to her yesterday. It's his wife's best friend. So, or a friend of hers, shall I say, they're real close. So shout out to my man, Jared. Shout out to Jared for looking out. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. Um, and I look, like I said, I looked at the job yesterday. I'm going this afternoon to do it now. So you guys stay tuned. I'll show you what we looking like when I get there. Cool. Yeah. All right, you guys, I'm here. Just back then. Here to get this old air conditioning system. Little white rails. Uh, this. This trash item. Why? Um. All this. And I'm gonna do her curve. She already got a little rake for me and everything. And I'm gonna just take shovel and rake hands, get some, and just put them in her little black, I mean, her plastic, you know, them little brown bags. I'm gonna try to just get big scoopfuls, pack them, try to get a good amount of these leaves up for her. And uh, that'll be that. But I'm gonna try to make quick work of this. So y'all be tuned. Y'all stay tuned. They won't say anything about a daughter said she gonna move her car to get pretty soon. This yeah. one right here. Mm -hmm. They say anything about daddy's car being covered on? Um, I have no idea. Uh, you need a car gone? Huh? Or as you said your daughter coming to pick it up? Yeah. Oh well. Getting somebody to you know tow it and um Yeah, yeah. Fix it for them. Okay. Well that shouldn't be a problem. So what what's it, a Mustang or something? Yeah. Mustang? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was just making sure, because I don't want her to have a trip with me. And, Mom, you got my car. You know. Right. Yeah, they do the mattress over there. I'm like, okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I appreciate you. Yeah. Yeah. I do have uniforms for my own, but I just didn't feel like when I woke up this morning, it was one morning, I was tired. Mm -hmm. I was like, I didn't grab no extra shirt or nothing. Mm -hmm. But I usually, like, my uniform color is usually like red and black, or I got like a gray alternate color too. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. With the name and all that. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
maybe we pour a lot of water out. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. I don't know why they even put all that stuff back there. Right. My daughter's boyfriend did that. Oh no, I believe you. I truly believe you. And then they moved and left left it um, on me. You know, they moved all the way to Montgomery County. So I know you're gonna come back down here and do it. Right. They like that's your problem. I'm gonna get my grandson though to uh, put the rest of these boots down. Right. And Somebody, you know, getting fined for crazy right. stuff like this. One thing I always thought of myself of is just the fact that, uh, always, you know. I'm probably the age of y'all parents. You know, I'm 61 years old. I can't let that stuff out there. Right. Uh, my father, he's 65. He just turned 65 today. Right. That's why I say I'm about your birthday. Well, you look good for your age, though. Oh, thank you. I wouldn't have known if you didn't tell me. <laughs> so that's good. Mm -hmm. Age one, that's good. Yeah. Oh, so how long have you um you been in this neighborhood area over here? Oh, uh, seven years. Um, um, I'm buying my house. Right. But I'm trying to get some work done into it too. My um. Daughter turned me on to this thing so I can get my house in, inside the house. Right, right. Carpet, uh -huh. kitchen, counters, and all that. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. I'm working on it though. <laughs> Everything I get, you know, get done. Uh huh. Yeah. No doubt about Always it. put in God's hands. That's what you gotta do. Yeah. That's what you gotta do. Alright, uh, y'all, yeah, about to work back here now. Clean this up. I'm trying to get all the trash out first. I'll do the leaves last. Okay. Yeah. I Play with the leaves. By the sea What I used to use sometimes, uh, even though they don't like to come get them, you know them contractor bags, uh -huh. them black ones, you can get a whole, what I used to do clean up. I got them. Oh yeah, you can get a whole lot, but the only thing is, they don't want to recycle it in a black bag. Yeah. Cause plastic, you know, plastic take a long time to break down. Uh -huh. So they just rather do either clear or paper uh -huh. bag. Things of that nature. See where I can get off top.
Similar to that particle board. Yeah, no, I, I got one of them big shovels, but it's winter time. What I used to use, sometimes I use them uh, snow shovels, because uh -huh. you get a big, uh, you get a big scoop with them. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. All the time. See y'all right here. Everything started out great. I'm sitting there raking the leaves in a little pile. We sitting there talking, woo woo woo, getting the rake. I had a rake out there as well too. I'm just using the shovel just to pull them towards me. So, but man, by the time I was done, like loading the truck didn't take long at all, y'all. Loading the truck wasn't that bad. It was after I got through these leaves. It was starting to get warm. You know what I'm saying? Then as I kept going through the pile. She was finding a little bit more stuff in the dirt, like little pieces of glass. Then the particle board, that shit was breaking to pieces because it had been sitting out there for so long, it was just tearing apart. So, man, when I tell you I was tired after I was finally done with this section of the job, man, I was tired, ready to get the hell out of there. You hear me? Like, I was like, hey, I did my part. I did way over my part, but I offered to, so that was on me. But, yeah, y'all going to see how... Y'all going to see how... Yeah, just wait till then. And this how my ass was looking about 30 minutes into the joint, man. When I say this shit was crazy, bruh, this shit was crazy. My little shit looking defeated. My little shit tired. My little shit ready to throw in a towel. Like, let's wrap it up, get out of here. I get to looking like I need some Gatorade, some milk, some ice packs, coolers, every damn thing. Like, I'm look like I'm reevaluating my whole life choices right at this moment. Damn shame. That man tired. Oh, hell no. Nah. Hell no, nah, Jay. How we go from that to that? This boy is done. This boy big tired. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. One to ten count out. That boy's knocked the fuck out. That boy tired. That boy had enough. That boy done seen better days. Like. You're not that guy for real. He he's feeling it. Big L. Man's is this. 
Get him the fuck out of here. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're that guy. Okay. You are now tuned in to the Smart Experience. All right, y'all. That's what some of the aftermath is looking like. Got up a lot of the leaves and piles that was smothering the ground out. It's a lot of like tile wood pieces, a little bit of glass that was buried under here. And uh, you see all the trash items we got out of the backyard right here and bagged up in a contractor and a recycle bags right here. Where do you want me to set these at? Okay. No problem. You see, just start the stuff down the truck. Gotta put this. Yep. Put this back. Mm hmm. I raked up the dirt. Yep. I got you. And that's that. Set these beds in the corner for leaf debris, dirt, grass, brush, all type of stuff. Set here for them to pick up. Once again, y'all, look at my shirt. It's soaked. It's not even a regular blue no more. It's like a dark blue black looking color. Uh, went out my way. Ended up doing her solid for 200. Took the, all the trash you see on the back of the truck and I offered while I was there um, to rake the leaves. And since I wasn't taking the leaves, I said, I'll just go ahead and rake them up, put in the bag. Got a little bit of like particle board type uh, plywood that was starting to rot that had been sitting there for a while. I think it's more particle board than plywood or anything. Like the type of stuff, cabinets, old cabinets and stuff is made out of, you know, in the older style cabinets. Uh, and that's in some of the couch, like the old, uh, well, it could be some of the newer, um, chair, couch sections made out of that wood, particle boy shit. Anyway, I bagged up some of that and like two cars tried to bag for her. She helped me too. So the whole time while I was using a rake and shovel getting stuff up, she was, um, holding the bag for me and assisting me in a good conversation. Shout out to Miss Victoria. She's a nice woman. It was very good to hold conversation with her. Very pleasant. And um, yeah, made it easy 200 on that job. Looked out, uh, I didn't have to upcharge really much. Oh, I didn't really tax on too much for the labor. She already got me my truckload and uh, that's that. So, got me some metal out of the deal. Probably won't even cost. 
anywhere between 10 to 15 to dump all this shit once I take the metal items off. And then, yeah, really, maybe $10. So, 190 profit. And if you want to consider a little bit for gas, that's not bad, too. I didn't make out bad. It was local. I'm on my way home now. Take a nice shower and get ready to go see Bad Boys 4. Hi, y'all. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, JBT family? It's your boy Justin coming in, tuning in, tapping in with y'all. As y'all see, got my shirt off. I need to get my ass back. Big man, huh, husky. But they still there, though. Athlete, former athlete, baby. Anyway, don't focus on that. But now I'm waiting for Lonnie and Daquan to pull up. We got a nice size job. Might be close to a full truckload just off the pictures I seen. I just got off work about close to an hour ago. So I don't really want to do nothing. So when they get here, I'm just going to have them offload all these items from the other day that I loaded up myself from that job for the new client. Once they offload a lot of that, separate the metal and put the trash in here. My metal been up front. We're going to hook up to that Tan Max D. Take that with us. And I'll probably take a chainsaw just in case. Cause I see we got some like lumber, um, four by four type of debris. It maybe look like decking wood or some type of wooden structure that was tore down. Might be decking though. And uh, we're going to do that. So yeah, we're going to hook up to the lease. If I, Cause I don't feel like hooking up to a roll off. I just put my roll off trailer back. I had it charging for three days, right? I had it charged for three days. Still didn't give me a full battery. It's like, it's, it's in green, it's on good, but it's like, what the hell? And we replaced, and me and Pops just replaced that thing like a few months ago. And I'm like, it's a brand new one, hooked everything up right. So I'm like, why the hell is it not? What does it take to get a full charge? I had it hooked up into the, um, you know, power outlet to the back of the house, run into the trailer, and that bitch was charged for three whole days. Like, what does it take to get a perfect battery? My shit, it's like, it don't ever get perfect. Do you need a solar? Like, what does it take? I don't know. But I got to eventually grease it again soon, both of my dumps. But other than that, once the guys get here, they're going to offload. We're going to hook up to the Time Max D. And I'll share what the job looking like when we get there. Because once again, I haven't seen it except for pictures that a repeat, a repeat client sent to me. And it's a warm one out here, guys. It's like 92 degrees right now. Whew, hot. Gotta stay tuned. All right. Look at this, uh... Big pun looking at motherfucker right here. I ain't seen you in about a month and Sundays, man. I know, bro. What's going on? Man. You look nice and comfortable. Uh, of course, man. She was hot as hell out there, John. You know I know. Saying? Okay, what well, you think? You uh, you rapping dipset with that motherfucker <laughs> head wrap on, bandana and shit? <laughs> look, bro. Got my head paid for the yeah. sweat. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I got my other good man right here, too. Yes, sir. What's up with you, bro? Left something, I washed it for you. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I bad. I had a towel in that you. joint, got a little, little oh, you good? You good? This shit was gonna look like this once I pulled it out my wash. It's too problem. So good. All right, I'll show you what we got still. Offloading the truck now. Ready throw the grill in that joint. Yeah. Got the grill up in there. Yes, yeah, sir. We got a good man right here. Little man Dickie. Breaking a sweat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They say, who needs a gym when you can work for JBT? Man. Say, who needs a gym membership when you can work with JBT, man? Hey, anyway, what gym? Light shit. <laughs> strong man. Strong young man. <laughs> there you go. Might want to let that come down. Mm -hmm. Cause I kind of I use the uh, what you call them. I'm going to get it up on me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Light shit. There you go. I know. It's okay. They like the real. They like the truth. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You don't need no young guy listening to this and his prone rum and his mom coming in and be like that. For real? 
Uh, you can dolly that joint over there once we get it down. Just dial it. Yeah, be careful. Don't need you. I don't need you hurting yourself before we do it. Before the real job start. All right, Diggy. I was told his name. He he over here grabbing his hand with a gun. On. Oh shit! The, the tire cut me. Hey hey, see, this is why you done missed a couple episodes. Cause of your fucking mouth. All right. So so they like, just just behave and let the day go the way it's supposed to go. That's funny. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. He should be a comedian. He talking about that. That could have been me, that thing rolling. <laughs> Miss talking about shit. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to cut it short right here, man. I'm going to let him finish doing his thing. <laughs> talking about that little um, piece that came off the air duct or whatever. Too much should have been me. No, actually, that came off a car. That came off a car. He said that could have been you? Yeah. Been you? Talking about throwing me off a truck. Yeah. <laughs> I said, this nigga comedian, man. You better hope I die. Battle of the Fire. You just want to have to squabble. Hey, I say you better hope I'm dead. That's Dodge of the Fire. Sneaky man. Sneaky man. There you go. Look at this little bastard. Little garden snake in here, man. His, his little ass about to get terminated in a second. That was a big ass worm. Hell no, nah, ain't no worm. Yeah, that's definitely a snake. We're going to, going to do something with that. We your knife had line. Uh, Daquan? Shit, cut. Let me cut his head off. Let me give you some. <laughs> that bitch about to squirm off. Oh, hit him with this. You can execute him with this joint. Get him with this, Dig. Don't let him get off. Hit him with this. Hit him with that, man. <laughs> Crack his head. Blow that right away. Crack his bitch ass. Get him. Don't don't let him. Get his bitch ass. He's squirming. He's gonna be that that nigga. That's good, but you know sometimes they can grow back their bodies and all that weird shit. Damn it, man. That bitch is dead. That's a dead bitch right there. Oh man. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Love you for that. Thank you. you. Need to put him where he belongs in the trash now. Yes, sir. <sighs> yes, sir. But see, I, I see if I didn't fuck with you, Daquan, I wouldn't have told you it was a snake behind you. You know, if I was a if I was a slime ball, I would have let you get slimed out. But that snake would have bit you on your ankle. You know what I'm saying? You would have been, you would have become one with the garden. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna have to give you some allergy medicine because you're blowing up all that dust. You're gonna be sneezing and, and hooping and hollering. Thank God. Ugh, nigga, ugh, the guts. Ugh, look at him. That's a dead bitch right there, man. Right? Oh, man. Yes, sir. Don't fuck with JBT. Short update, JBT. That's what the trailer looking like. Already got the stuff from the side right here gone. Stuff right here gone. They working on the other side and up front now. Working out front. So yeah. Uh, how you feeling, man? You so you getting your sweat on, how you feeling? Feeling nice, man. Feeling all right? Yes, sir. That's good. Straight. We almost done for real. Mm-hmm. I don't think we've been here that long. Almost. For real? I can't see right now. Okay. It don't even feel like it. Cool. Yep. Shut out. Yep. That's dedication to pick up the stick and whip. <laughs> he ain't let the stick fall. <laughs> he got that stick talk. Man, 
<laughs> Literally. Y'all out of towners, I don't know what that means. That that went right over your head. Mm-mm. There you go. Caution, beware type signs. All right, so we was talking about date nights, you know, on a on a chill Thursday. So what's going on, Carl? John I used to fuck with a VA, right? Mm-hmm. You know, we used to go to movie theaters. Right. We used to give a little nigga Weddy Becky, you know? Yeah, sloppy shy, yeah. We don't even yeah. fucking yeah. came in the neck on the Metro bus. Mm. <laughs> Shawty was a wild one. Bad man, man, bad man. Shout out to her. That's uh, W female. Yeah. W. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, if y'all want a good day tonight, go check out that Bad Boys, man. Go check out that new Bad Boys. You might get lucky. Get a good laugh and get a good ah while you're in the theater. Bust one near you. <laughs> Bro, I'm not about to run. I don't know what they got. You know, I see like Finish a little bowl. Up. It looks like a little bowl, like a little salsa looking thing down there. I'm like, oh, no. They feeding this nigga shit out here. I'm all right working with this nigga. Nope. Yeah. Y'all see everything is gone now. All of this stuff is gone. We bagging up. We got one paint can right here too, Quan. One right here. Done deal. <clears throat> got some cable. A little recyclable. A little uh, wall unit. Like the joints used to go in the window. AC unit. Some cable. And then... This is what they got the trailer looking like. Brought my trash cans with me. Yeah. So, that's what we looking like. Done deal. Done deal, man. Y'all see what's going on. Can I get a quick overview, closing out remarks from my two good men with the JBT gang? Yes, sir. Got one of the OGs from back in the day. Know. And we got the uh, young buck currently. Young World buck. renowned. <laughs> runner up. Runner up, man. He locked in now. Man. How you feel this window, Quan? Cool little job. Mm -hmm. Wasn't too hot, you know. Got over here when the shade came in and shit. Yep. As y'all can see, loaded this motherfucker up. And we ready to dip out. You gonna throw the cans on there? And a dolly. Yeah. How you first thing went right quick line? Like a good man, tell you. Good thing, good thing. Good thing, good thing. Good thing, good thing. Good thing like that. Yeah. There you go. Well, you heard it, man. He spoke his piece. We signing out. Till next time. One. Hey, man. Say, man. Y'all already know who it is. Pull up like money. Get money. We ain't never slumming. On God.